Yeah, Mike and Jackie, at that press conference this morning, Demacio Diaz and his former partner Patrick Mara were both accused of wrongdoing in the cases of some of the families that were represented. And all of the families came together to request something pretty significant. That's a federal intervention into the day-to-day -day operations of the Bakersfield Police Department. Jorge Ramirez's home was a gathering place today. This kind of things are happening and it's happening too often. A gathering place for families who blame Bakersfield police for the death of loved ones. And the families behind me represent only a small fraction of the families that represent unarmed individuals who were shot and killed by what was labeled as the deadliest police force in the entire nation. The families of James De La Rosa. All we want is justice. Jason Alderman. We're looking for justice and change in the city and in the town. And Matt Odom, who was not killed by police, but whose case was partially handled by corrupt former officer Demacio Diaz, all making a staunch demand this morning. And that is for the Department of Justice to take over the Bakersfield Police Department and to have an inspector or a federal supervisor monitoring the department on a daily basis. The high-profile Los Angeles firm accusing the recently sentenced Diaz and his former partner Patrick Mara, who will be sentenced next week, of wrongdoing in the cases of some of these families. Demacio Diaz gave him hope and told him that we know the suspect who killed your brother and then all of a sudden withdrew failed to return phone calls. Officer Mara was the individual tasked with signing Ramirez up as a confidential informant and never did that task because he was keeping informants off the book. The firm is representing all four families in separate lawsuits but said that today was about putting a face to the request to the DOJ. Many of those faces waiting for the retirement of police chief Greg Williamson at the end of this year to see if change will come. And he did nothing. He's leaving this a mess. And we're here to help fix it. We need, we need to really hire an a, a individual that is not from that department. At 23 ABC reached out to BPD. They referred us to the city attorney's office who flat out declined. Now, Mara will be sentenced on Monday. That is when Chief Williamson will comment. And as far as this request the DOJ goes, the papers will be submitted this coming week. In downtown Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.